check out the wheels. Check out the position. It's insane. Whoa, whoa. Stop you, man, the brakes are great. It, man. Now put it in reverse. Ready? Go and press now. Go, 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 go. Let me go in sport mode right there and then just go to 40, 40, and then press the end green button right now. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> Check this out, Chris. <laughs> no freaking way, man. <laughs> man. Wow, my, my phone and everything is just back in the right. My cameraman is smiling. Welcome back to a new video. Today, I want to share with you an amazing experience. We are in Austria, in Solden, all the way up on the mountain. And today, we will drive the brand new Hyundai Ionic 5N and also the Hyundai Tucson plug-in hybrid all-wheel drive N-Line 641 horsepower Ionic 5N will be such an amazing experience because we will drive it on the snow, on ice and in this video you will find out how is to drive in those kind of condition, all kind of tests on the snow in, in kind of worse condition because as you probably know in the last years because of global warming and stuff like that we don't have too much snow, so we have to go all the way in Austria on a Rettenbach glacier. So we will drive actually on a glacier, a lot of snow, a lot of fun. So stay with me in this video because we'll be just insane. Also, I want to shout out a big thanks to Hyundai Switzerland, powered by Astara for inviting us here for all of us to share with you this experience because I think will be just super, super fun. So. Hyundai driving winter experience begins. So let's go, guys. We reach out up to the glacier right here. The weather is not as I was expected. I was expecting a little bit of sun, but no sun at all. Plenty of snow right here. I'm super excited. We go to toilet and then the cars will be here and we will have some fun. Kind of complicated. And the bad thing is that we cannot see the top of the mountains. The mountain peaks are covered by the clouds, but still a nice, exciting day. <laughs> Oh, 
when it comes to weather, not what I was expected. Well, I was expected definitely a super sunny day, beautiful day where I can drive those beautiful cars on the snow. But it's crazy weather, it's windy and it's snowing and it's full of snow and ice will be really really interesting and complicated this trip look at the cars are just a ray right here and they look just phenomenal i mean can't wait to see and test them All right guys, so now for the first trip, first part, we have the Hyundai Tucson N-Line plug-in hybrid, all-wheel drive, 265 horsepower. We will drive it on the snow up to 2,800 meter up on the mountain. Will be really fun because it's a lot of snow and I'm really curious how it is. Crazy weather, but really interesting experience. So yeah, let's go inside guys. Oh my god, so much snow. I will put the camera right here. The thing is that I have to adjust the seats in the perfect position. Otherwise, I'm not able to drive for the in the perfect position because we have to stay really, really good straight. In order to have a very good position of driving on a steering wheel, you have to stay with your hands around here. So in order to turn around the steering wheel, uh, in a perfect position so I will have to stay a little bit closer so the image of the camera the quality will be not as usually was and the terrain mode I will hold it on snow for the safety it's really exciting to be here it's pretty warm inside we have also a talker right here it will talk and it will tell us where and how we should go now I want to adjust also the mirrors so to have a good visibility if you go with the camera on the side I can also check out that other mirror just like that perfect now this mirror good visibility Tucson it's 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 an amazing car and as you probably know from my other videos I'm I'm a, I'm kind of a big fan of Hyundai Tucson you can see aluminum pedals this is the plug-in hybrid guys so it's able to drive also in electric mode if we have enough um, energy so if you go to the menu and if you go here to the plug-in hybrid settings you can see right here the energy flow and what happened with energy in real time this is quite quite uh, interesting cool part is that we have a petrol engine 1.6 liter tgdi and it's also the uh, electric motor and the six-speed automatic transmission n-line version electronic handbrake auto hold all that stuff are here heated seats so here we are guys um, they talk with us in German so yeah for those of you that understand that it's great um, I will try to translate that uh, you already feel a little bit of traction coming in a little bit of slippering because it was a little bit of ice there but here the grip it's it start to be just perfect we have to hold the. We have to. So here he said like we can keep the distance between the car in front. It's pretty a complicated curve, but I still try to hold it steady and slow. Oh my God! It's so much snow down here, and the grip is good. We have a little bit of sliding. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, we have felt a little bit of traction control and a little bit of slip ring there, but then the two song grip just perfectly because the traction control it's on the car basically know how to split the power and to give you the power to the wheels in perfectly position where it should be uh, i'm starting we start to warm up a little bit here uh, to get used a little bit with this feeling driving uh, on this kind of snow so yes sir here we have a little touch mark that fits the hurdle gets a little uh, 
So I have to keep a little bit of distance between uh, my car and the car in front in case of, I don't know, something happened. Man, it's so incredible. Look at this, it's like one, two meters snow around here. Oh my God, it's such a nice experience. <laughs> it's, it's really a unique experience and, and these two stone have no problem at going up here. It is, it is incredible. Also, by the way, yesterday they explained us how important are the winter tires. To have proper winter tires, not older than five years because they got stronger and then they don't have any more that good grip. Uh, also, the winter tires on this uh, Hyundai Tucson here are Hancock winter tires, special winter tires. They are pretty, pretty good. Also a Korean uh, tire manufacturer. Perfectly grip. I feel like the car have no problem. Look at the wind, how it's bl blasting around here. Man, it's so white. It's crazy white here. The grip is still good. It starts to snow a little bit more. It starts to have a little bit more wind more snow here in this area oh, oh, oh it's i i definitely feel like the car it it, it grip perfectly basically on the snow it's also much more easy for the car to grip on the ice is the problem snow it's good but some places have ice under this snow so i can feel that uh, in some areas in curves for example even down here so Oh my god. Wow. So, and, so now Oh my god. some slalom around here this is around 2800 meter top of the mountain it's one of the the highest place where you can drive yeah, nice now this is a little bit of slalom Wait. No, no, we can go down. So now it is fun, fun to drive. Oh, a little bit of so nice here. We feel a little bit the car traction. Nice. <laughs> nice, it feels so fun. This is the, the top of the mountain, 2800 meters up on the glacier. So we slip ring a little bit. But I'm happy that I feel, I get around that feeling of the car. Oh, this one, it's a hard one. And if you go too, too fast, And this is the right way to steer. Wait a second. <laughs> it's fun, man. Now we have to, to test the brakes. So you see there, they test the brakes already. <laughs> I 
Oh my god. Oh, there's the smell. Oh, there's the smell. So, they accelerate and then they brake. Look at this. They accelerate and then they brake after the first. Check this out. Oh my god. So let's go guys, Pray, accelerating and just brake. <laughs> wow, wow, and you feel the ABS, wow the brake is fantastic, I didn't expect to brake so, so short, I was worried and I start to brake a little bit earlier, <laughs> I brake a little bit earlier but I was expect I was expecting the brakes to not be that good, but they are incredible good. The brakes are just fantastic. Man, I didn't expect that. I will I will definitely position the car a little bit better now. Whoa! It's fun. It's fun. It's crazy fun to drive. Let's take a better position. I want to take a better position. Look at that. Look at that. It's incredible. Now. Accelerate and 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 I will leave it a little bit more leave it more until here and then break Look at this. Wow Wow the ABS it's so good man. It's so short. It's so short Accelerate The experience, guys, is just insane. Really insane. How it's outside? It's cold? Wow, it's very cold. It's cold, right? <laughs> but it looks inside, it's so hot and so warm because the car have only 22 degrees. But look at this. We have to stop here. It was so fun. It was really, really fun to drive, guys. Uh, amazing experience. The grip on this Tucson in combination with those Hancock tires, it's insane. The, the ABS traction control intervene when it has to be. And you have such a light control and you can definitely feel the control of the car. Was really, really fun to drive it. I can't wait to see it later, the, the brand new Hyundai Ioniq 5N. That would be fun. We will have some drifts with the car on snow. So stay close because it will be just incredible. Okay, so now, first of all, we have to go inside the cars and we have to try this crazy turning we have to drive in reverse at 35 km per hour we put it in neutral turn the steering wheel all the way then straight it up when we are like 90 degrees and then straight it up again and turn the car in the other it's crazy i hope i can manage to do that yeah exciting really look at this amazing amazing area here Slides. <laughs> anyway, let's do it, guys. So you have to have this right position where you can, you and you can hold the steering wheel. Put it in reverse. I did it, man. <laughs> better better next time i do it better <laughs> next time will be perfect man i love this car <laughs> i have to buy a hyundai tucson <laughs> oh my god hyundai tucson is the way to go it man you okay Hold on, huh? Go, 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 go
Yeah. I didn't do it right. Last time was better. I have to redo it. I have to redo it. One more time. This time I do it better. So first, guys, it's good that you are there. First time you have to press reverse. You go in reverse. 35 km, 40 km per hour. And then put it in neutral. Turn the steering wheel all the way. Straight it up on the 90 degrees. And then straight the... the Man, it's nice. Let's see a little bit the mountains up there. They are insane, insane experience. Adrenaline is here. It's so fun. It's really fun to drive this car, man. And it feels safe. Basically, I'm surprised how safe it feels to drive it. I was expecting to be much more like unsafe feeling or stuff like that, but it's definitely fun. Go straight away. Put it on a neutral, turn it around and straight. Oh my god, that was fun. Now put it in reverse. Ready? Go. And. Press now, Go! Check it out, guys. I just go outside, take a break, and look at this. Put it in reverse, then right now in neutral, turn it all the way, and then straight the steering. Insane. Cool. Insanely cool experience. We go down, and they teach us a cool thing that I didn't know about. Probably you didn't know as well. They teach us that if you hold the electronic handbrake up the button, you will have actually a brake handbrake such a beautiful weather after the left turn you increase your speed up to roughly 50 kph. Then we have here a red door aufgebaut. This red door is the Bremspuff. Here we have it, you have this auto full up with Bremsen and then with the Bremsdruck modellieren, so that you really langsam werde. So after the turn, you increase the speed to 50 and then you will see there is a braking point. There are two red cones. There you have to slam onto the brake and then try to modulate the brake pressure. But don't bring the car to a complete stop. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. okay, great. So on the next stop it says like it's a cone where we have to brake, but we have to control the brake, not... Yeah. Dann zieh dir mal die Handbremse, lass die Handbremse gezogen und lenkt auf die rechte Spur, damit wir nicht zu schnell in die Linkskurve fahren. Unter der Right-Hand Corner, der Speed ist, der Speed ist so roughly um, 30 kph, und wenn die Karte, wenn die Front reach the first red cones, pull the handbrake, hold the flip, until you get the good speed, and then release the flip. So, yeah. also hier, don't bring the car to a complete stop. Nice, really nice. Bremsweg is extrem lang. Think bitte immer dran beim Runterfahren vor den Kurven langsam zu machen. Yeah, here you have to control when you go downhill, you have to control the vehicle. Whenever you go downhill, don't forget, it's very slippery here. And uh, it's always important that you slow down the speed enough before the corner comes. Yeah. We have to slow down before the corner is very important because it's very steep down here and it's very important when you go down to know when to slow down, you know, and to slow down before the curves and keep the distance between the car in front. That's that's very important. Really nice. Slow and steady, press the brakes. Down and maybe the car will slide into the snowbank. 
Now the idea is because it's speaking the same time I can focus and also give you the information but the idea is when you go downhill you just always control the brake and a little bit the speed. So have you found the snow motors? Yeah. Snow? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's already. Okay. Yeah, it's already on snow. So we have to put it on snow mode so in order to go up so we should try all the kind of driving modes but the cool part is something that I didn't know until now is the fact that if you hold the electronic brake up just as long as you hold it the brakes will hold like a manual electronic handbrake and probably most of you didn't know that I didn't know that as well so you hold it up and then the car will basically hold the handbrake so in case of emergency just to know that I'm, I don't know how many cars have this feature but Hyundai have it and it's great great to know in case of emergency you can pull it up and it's like emergency handbrake we start right now again now go a little bit higher. So go number four. You don't just wait, I let you go. Wait, 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 wait. We need a safe distance. Yeah, we have to keep the distance and then now we go uphill on the snow. Okay, it's right and first. Up to the top and wait there where the twister is waiting. Oh, nice. The grip is great. Now we go uphill. That's the fun part. Wow. The grip is super nice, even though here it's a lot. Here it's a lot of snow and a little bit of ice. You can see right now, I feel a little bit the traction control, the grip slippery, but then it's grip again. Wow. Man is doing a great job. This Tucson, it's fantastic on those kind of roads. So I didn't expect that Hyundai Tucson to be such a good on those kind of off-roader. Even if it's not proper all-wheel drive, it's still doing fantastic on those. Look at this. Again, those cones, fantastic grip. Amazing grip. And now a big curve here. You have to pay attention a little bit to give a little bit of space to the wheels not always turn it all the way otherwise it's not going to go up you have to release a little bit in order the tire to grip a little bit better but always always control the speed control the the curve and the car and feel the car be the one with the car with the machine be the one with the machine you have to feel what's happening here in order to have a better control but look at this look at in the front how beautiful it is man the, the road it's fantastic it's so beautiful here again a super hard curve here if i turn all the way in i have to slow down and then release that release the the steering wheel in order the car to do the job and to grip on the snow and now you can go it's fine so next is like now we go downhill guys um, we have to modulate and control the brakes that was the directions. Oh, yes. Have to control slowly the brake going downhill. Of course, the car have the downhill button here. I can easily press it and it will do all the job. But uh, easily you have to control the brakes. Check this out. Check it in the front, the mountains. How it looks, this road is fantastic. Look how beautiful oh, yes. it is. It's amazing road and look at the snow. I'm, I'm definitely confident if, I, if you want to buy a Tucson, guys, or if you already have a Hyundai Tucson, um, if you have the right winter tires, if you have the right uh, training for driving on those kind of conditions, the car is very capable and it's capable to do uh, all kind of off-roading driving situation. And I'm, I'm so excited. And now you can see right here, press the brake slowly. And then here, if you... Abstand halten, das letzte Fahrzeug jetzt nach der Kurve ein bisschen langsam, mit der Stimme langbremsen, zu lang runterbremsen 
Yeah. yeah. Now, when it curves, when a curve, a big curve occurs, you have to slow down. In the winter time, in slippery roads, you always have to pay attention, keep the distance, and also when you see a curve, a big curve, just slow down before in order to be safe. But otherwise, lovely control. I can I can definitely control the car, lovely, and it's it's fantastic, man. The the, the road ahead is just fabulous. It looks splendid. Now we are almost here, just break a little bit. Man, I have so much confidence in this Hyundai Tucson. Confidence that it gripped perfectly. After almost 20 years of driving without any accidents, I finally can say that I have experience driving on the mountain. You can go. Sand mode. We put it on sand mode, we have to test this sand mode. The thing is that the wheels will spin a little bit more. That's the idea on sand. In order to give you the grip, we'll spin a little bit more, but we experienced that. Um, so the, the teacher wants us to uh, experience different driving modes. So we are driving in sand mode. So the wheels are, oh my God, they're, they're, they're spinning much more. So you, you definitely feel a little bit more slippery, a little bit more fun to drive. We start to feel a little bit of of drifting, but it's fun. Man, it's fun! It's fun! It's fun! I love it. Sand mode. Even on the sand mode, you can drive on snow. That's fun. That's really fun. Oh. Definitely, definitely fun. The wheels, I hear the wheels spinning a little bit more. I feel the fresh snow under the, under the car. It's gripping in such a nice way. Going uphill is much more easier than going downhill because when you go downhill, if you don't pay attention, it can slip, uh, slip ring very, very fast and easy. But nice here, it's a big curve. We have to slow down a little bit, take it a little bit bigger. Turn the wheels, 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 and then just release it here, the steering, and then, whoa, I take it perfectly. Oh my God, it's fun. It's really, really fun. Slow down a little bit, turning around here. You can see, turn around the wheels, then you have the understeer here happening. So yeah, you can see. So it's also slippering a little bit more where the ice it is. And now here we are on top again in sand mode this is definitely the most spectacular test from today check out the wheels check out the position it's insane it's insane it's spectacular and then go down there wow it's for the first time when i do those kind of stuff now let's see if we can manage one more. A little bit forward. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Just a little bit. Exciting, man, I did it. I'm good, man. For the first time, I managed to do it really perfectly. Yo, it's so exciting, man. I can't believe what you can do with this car. I can't believe what you can do with this Tucson. It's so exciting. Commercial car, great praise for what technology it has, but also it has this off-road amazing technologies and off-road capabilities. I'm crazy surprised.
We have to go down here. Yeah. Uh, your card. Release the brake, don't touch the pedals, only steering. Come from the outside and then go as close as possible to the inside, okay? Yeah. Uh, and go inside and then go down. No brake. So the idea here, guys. So the idea here. Come to the right, go to the right. And now skip to the left, to the inside, completely to the inside. Don't press the brake. Wow, the downhill assist, it's insane, man. Oh my god. What? Oh my god, this is insane. This is also insane. We go downhill, the downhill assist, it's so... The downhill assist is just insane. Wow, wow. So you don't have to press the brake. The thing is here, the teaching, the teaching lesson here is don't touch the brake when the downhill assist it's activated we are in mud mode we change it to mud mode so in mud mode the idea is just driving and then just release the brake and then drive just the drive pedal slowly though go down and then just release it don't press the brake as soon as you press the brake the car will go all the way down Turn around here. Again, we go uphill. Wow, it's fantastic. I mean, the downhill assist, guys. The, the lesson is when you drive on the snow and ice, don't press the brake only when it's necessary. But when you go and you have the downhill assist, and if you lock the brakes, then we'll, you will uh, slide all the way on the ground. So the lesson, Take care and don't panic. The panic is really not good. Keep calm, think what you have to do. And yeah, we definitely, all of us, that all the drivers in the world should learn to drive on all kind of uh, situation. It's almost done with the experience with Hyundai Tucson. It was amazing. I mean, we drift, we go uphill, we go downhill. A lot, a lot of testing, turning up the car. You saw before amazing experience. I wasn't expect that a commercial car that is not a proper four-wheel drive to be able to grip so good in this kind of condition. I'm impressed. Hyundai Tucson, great job. Really nice. I mean, love the experience, love the car. I was a big fan from the beginning. You probably know, for those of you that are old on my channel, of this Hyundai Tucson. I'm really excited to see also the Ionic 5N. Hier drücke ich drauf. Achtet mal hier auf, den, auf die Geschwindigkeitsangabe. Das verändert sich nämlich jetzt in ein Drehzahlmesser. Und dann. Now is the turn for Hyundai Ionic 5N 641 horsepower all-wheel drive, two electric motors, one on the front, one on the rear. Amazing, a lot of physical button, a lot of settings to choose from. We will test it on the snow, on ice, crazy condition, a lot of tests, brake tests, a lot of stuff. Stay close because it will be amazing. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. The first test with Hyundai Ioniq 5, the brake test. We have to drive 30 downhill and then we have to brake at these cones and then we have to stop and control the, control the brakes. So that's really important. As I told you before in the Tucson drive, the same thing, the th same thing apply here. The same control on the brake, control, control on the steering, small, small feeling the car. That's, that's the idea, feeling the car. Look at there, look at the eyes. It goes so nice. Uh, I will change the driving mode. I will put it in normal mode. Normal mode, I think it's perfect for these kind of conditions. Ah, oh, look at it, man, it's so beautiful. In this color, the Ionic 5 and it's so nice. It looks so nice. Now, let's go, guys. First try, 30 km per hour. Just about here. Just about here. Yes, this is 30. It's perfectly 30. Okay. 
I have to go around 40 km per hour. Just slow down a little bit around here. Slow down. And then... Fifty-five now. We have to go a little bit faster, man. Fifty-five. Oh my God. Fifty-five now. We reach fifty-five. I break a little bit, and then. I don't have too much time to explain you the car in detail, but as soon as I get the car for a proper test drive, proper review, interior, exterior, I will explain you every single feature of the car, but it looks fantastic. Also, we drive with those Hankook Ion e sipped SUV uh, tires, winter tires, super good tires, I see. Amazing rims, they look phenomenal. I mean, uh, the way they look on the car, they are gorgeous. I'm not going to talk about that, but still, if I go inside, because it's pretty cold outside, you can see in the interior here a lot of buttons inside, but more about that I will explain you as we go in this video and also in a different video. You have the end mode, you have also another end mode that activate the sound and you can change the gears from here. Actually, it's kind of an artificial changing the gears, but the sound in the speakers, the driving feeling, the way the car it stops when you change the gear or simulate the stops and the changing gears down and up, it's fantastic. I mean, it's a really, really amazing experience. And you have also this N green button that gives you extra 41 horsepower for, let's say, around 10 seconds, but we didn't test it yet. So otherwise it has 600 horsepower plus 41 horsepower. So that's, that's insane. Anyway, steering wheel, driving feeling, even on the snow is just amazing. Now we drive to the next station. Now, check this out. We can play with those sounds. Check it out here in the front. Oh. Oh. That's fun. Check this out. Oh. oh my god, it's amazing. The sound is fantastic. It's so it, it sounds so real. Now we go in the tunnel on the, oh my god, on top of the mountain, 2800 meters. Fantastic. Man, now we have to test the the end grid button. 
and green button is the test here let me go in sport mode right test and then just go to 40 40 and then press the end green button right now oh my god oh my god it's insane oh my god the end green button it's insane wow wow it's fantastic yeah 40 kilometers as i told you before it's insane back to sport oh my god no fucking way no way man oh wow it's so fast we drive 40 and then just press the end 10 seconds it needs a little bit of time to rest and once you press it you drive 40 and then once you press you have to have like 10 seconds otherwise doesn't allow you now again man oh my god oh my god Whew. this is crazy this is insane insane experience man it's so powerful it push you back in the seats look at the ambient light the LED lights outside it's so pleasant oh really incredible man I, I love the feeling really fantastic look at the view here it's insane the view outside it's wow look at those white mountains It's fantastic. The driving feeling, the way it stays on the curve. It's so fun. It gives you that emotion that's missing in the electric cars. Many people complain about emotion because it's everything flat. Man, this Ionic 5N give you those emotions. Now guys, we just set up the torque distribution, 20% forward, 80% backward. We can do it 90, 10, but in the beginning, I just recommend you, you can do it also 70, 30, but it's recommended 80, 20. That will be uh, for the beginning and then you can play with it. Drive it slow. Accelerate. <laughs> ah, the Anfang, the, the beginning was so good. Oh, I did a few things so good. Uh, switch of torque and now drift optimizer this option there yes okay now we have here drift okay yeah great 
Now guys, we have to activate the drift optimizer. Just check the drift optimizer and you can see the drift here on the screen. Then the traction control is off and let's drive it. <laughs> it's fun man I'm not I'm not the best in this kind of stuff but it's it's between the first time when I do that and definitely crazy nice experience the electric cars are quite different you have to press the pedal but not all the way and you have to feel how much to press the pedal in order to give you that that movement that you want in that right place and torque distribution on so many settings i will have a separate video where i explain you what they do all those settings in a different video in a full review video um, because here we don't have too much time going slowly here going slow and then release now i'm good now i'm good but i don't have any more the hands in the right place now Turning around, wow, now that was good. Oh, now I get around it. Man, I'm good, look at this, I made it. I learn it, I learn it, I learn it. I start to learn it more and more. is now now confirm uh -huh. confirm yeah now it's uh, including aha uh -huh. so it's a good good yes so we have now you have it here yeah. and you can go great thank you i have some sound now man that's what i'm talking about that's more fun to go oh ho, 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 ho. <laughs> That's the way to go, man. Check this out. Oh. Oh. 
was good until here. Oh, it's Man, I have now the the other story. Now I have more control on the back traction control. It's off, kind of completely. <laughs> I think it's a little bit more ice on the road, and I have to turn the steering wheel a little bit more in some situations like now the back is running back again oh all right that was better oh back again on the track so lovely we are done with it traction control it's off we can have some fun here we are allowed to use the end green button because here we don't have any snow anymore so we go back in tunnel you hear this engine oh it's so fun man who said and now check this out press <laughs> no fucking way, man! <laughs> man. Wow, my my phone and everything is just back in the right. My cameraman is smiling. That means it's a good. Yo, heard this out, guys. You hear this? So fun. So Mega fun, man. The pedals behind the steering wheel make so much fun. I wouldn't imagine an electric car can give you that feeling of when. Check this out in the front. Oh my god, then no way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, it's so fun. You hear this out. Back to. Man, I was so curious about this sound. It's fantastic. Oh, it's so fun to drive it. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love, definitely. Crazy, crazy driving feeling. Love this car. It's insane. The brakes, the driving feeling, the control, the hands on the steering, the, the handlings of the car are just insane. I love it. I wouldn't imagine it's so good. It stays so low on the ground. A lot of respect for the N engineers from Hyundai. They manage to do it again in an electric mode. So fun to drive. Amazing driving feeling. The car has such a good, such a good grip on the ground. It stays so low. It feels so heavy. It feels heavy. You feel that. <laughs> it push you back, it stop you. Man, the brakes are great. Wow, 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 it stop. It's simulating so real, this gear shifter. The car, it's just insane. I, 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 I'm, I'm so in love. Last time when I was so excited, I think I, it's when I drive the Porsche Taycan. But this I only can. Wow. It's crazy, crazy fun. I love it, guys. I hope you enjoy this trip with us. Was complicated to film in the same time, to hear in the same time what the talker said, and also to deliver some information and to get some uh, great shots for you. But I hope the video was interesting. I can't wait to test this car again as soon as I get it for a full review. 
test drive I will do, will come proper video with it. But man, who says electric car can't give you emotion? You have to try Ionic 5N and you definitely probably change your mind. That was the video guys, was insanely fun to drive it. Thank you very much Hyundai Switzerland by Astara for this invitation and for this experience that allowed me to share it with you, appreciate that. And guys, was incredible, the driving feeling, Hyundai Tucson, plug-in hybrid, all-wheel drive and this Ionic 5N, amazing car, totally love them. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, stay safe, and I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.